I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Community Center in One Year, Episode 4. So, uh, you know, it's a fairly typical video. We get a little bit done. We deposit some stuff. We... Actually, um, something really cool does happen in this video, and you'll see later. So, look forward to that. Does it happen right now? It does not. Okay. It's on Sunday, then. <laughs> Has to do with the, uh, has to do with the traveling merchant. You'll see, you'll see. I've talked about it before, and it gave us pretty much the ideal items. And then the game's RNG makes up for it in the next video by barely giving me any soggy newspaper when I'm fishing for trash, and when I do get soggy newspaper, it doesn't, it doesn't recycling machine into what I want. It just gives me many, many torches. I don't even think torches have a use, really. Like... Unless they stay in the mines when you put them down, uh, like on the same floor, so you can go back to the floor later and it's still lit up. If, if it does that, I can imagine it being cool. F failing that though, I'm thinking no. Got some cauliflower seeds there for donating the five items total to the museum. This is unfortunately not useful to me, due to the fact that uh, it's too late in the year. To be, or not too late in the year, but too late in the month to be planting cauliflower seeds. So I just sell them. It's a few hundred gold. Also, as you may have seen back there a little bit ago, I went to the saloon to check the rest, like to check the list of items that they had, and they do still have the maki roll recipe. So I'm thinking I'll probably just wait until the 21st of summer, anyways, because I want, uh, I want to just get the recipe for free. I don't want to have to pay 1500 gold for it. If I somehow forget to get it from the TV for free, then I probably will buy it like later on in summer, just when I have money to buy it. And, you know, spending the 1500 won't cripple me for uh, my fall crops. Because I do want to plant crops going into, uh, into summer. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. I'm so tired lately. And that may be because I just woke up like two hours ago and realized I had to finish these videos. Um, uh, crops aren't as necessary in this one. We don't need a whole lot of money other than uh, 42,500 gold for the vault bundles. But, you know, we, we can get that pretty easily if we can get up to 100 blueberries planted then we should be able to get, you know, plenty of money. Every harvest from 100 blueberries of, you know, tile space is about 25,000 gold. That would be more than enough after the few harvests that we would get in, in summer. You know, we get like five harvests, I think, so that'd probably be enough to buy all the things we need. In my starter up series, it's, I think, even less relevant that I make as much money. Um, no, I have to make slightly more in the other one. Here it is. Um, it went by really quickly there, but you can see in my hot bar, I got a rabbit's foot and a wool from the traveling merchant, which is why I'm fishing for soggy newspaper in the next video. And I think at the end of this video, I started fishing for it as well. Um, I just need to get a cloth from Soggy newspaper. I think there's a fairly low chance, but it's worth a shot. If I can do that, I don't have to get a rabbit and I don't have to get a sheep. So that's very good. The next thing that we want to look for from the traveling merchant would be probably... Um, probably like truffles and truffle oil. Uh, I could go for two truffles, or a truffle and a truffle oil, either way. But uh, if I can get that then I don't have to get a pig for the farm, and that would be very convenient, as I would no longer need to get a deluxe barn. I could just get a, uh, a big barn. If I have to get a deluxe barn, that's fine. I, I'm pretty sure I can still do it. Um, it is only, you know, late spring, after all. But ideally... These yawns, though. Uh, but ideally, 
um, I can get a truffle and a truffle oil from the traveling merchant and then not have to uh, not have to get a pig. I already don't have to get a deluxe coop because I no longer need a rabbit and I can put a sheep in a big barn if I have to get a sheep so that's fine. Um, I do need to get a big coop right now unless I can get a duck egg and a duck feather. If I can get a duck egg and a duck feather then I no longer need a big coop, I just need a regular coop to get two chickens, ideally a brown chicken and a white chicken. And that's basically it. If I can get really lucky I'd love to get the wood skip in the traveling merchant. I'd love to get the uh, what else? What else would be really convenient to get from the merchant? Uh, the truffle and the truffle oil, of course. Um, a goat cheese and a large goat milk would be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Just, you know, basically the animal products in general are what I'd like to get. I could always not need some of the animal products because they're for the artisan bundle. And for the artisan bundle, I can use fruits instead. So I can use like a honey, a jelly, a pomegranate, an apple, a cloth, and just one other thing, like a goat cheese or something. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, comment the video, subscribe the video, share the video. And I will see you guys all next time.